Freshdesk demo how to use Freshdesk for customer service. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with Freshdesk. So let's get into it. Now, Freshdesk is a software created by Freshworks, which is the larger parent company, and they have different products and different platforms like service centers, a fresh sales, fresh team, fresh marketer. But Freshdesk is your CRM tool where you are going to be able to manage your customer relation. And within Freshdesk itself, you have different different channels and platforms and products like the omni-channel suite, the support desk, the messaging contact center, and customer success. So it is a delightful application to use. And to get started, all you have to do is go on to freshdesk.com. And then you're just going to click on free trial on the top right over here. And once you click on the top right, you're just going to begin with your email address. So you can click on sign up with email or you can sign up with Google. So I'm just going to sign up with Google and they give you a 21 one day free trial of their premium features as well and i will later on be discussing the premium features and the free features so i'm going to add the company name and then i'm just going to enter the phone number and i'm just going to click on sign up for free now our sign up process has begun and now i'm just going to click on get started over here to get started with setting up my fresh desk account so you can see this is going to be our basic dashboard and before we set that up we can actually start customizing this so you have to add the fresh disk address which is going to be the link address on top of your screen so you can add whatever you want i'm just going to add jane to help i find that is a simple enough address and then you can invite your team members so any people that you will be working with any of your agents any of your clients you can add them from here and then i'll just skip this for now and then you can also bring your support emails into fresh desk so whatever emailing system you are using you can add that over here as well now this is just a sample dashboard that they will give you initially to get started with but i'm just going to navigate through this to show you guys how it's going to function now on your left you have your navigation panel this is the basic dashboard of fresh desk where you will be able to see the ticketing system this is all of the ticketing summary you have resolved received the average response time and resolution with an sla so below that you have your customer satisfaction you have unresolved tickets and you have a to-do list and this is going to give you a overall overview of your customer service center now on your navigation panel below that you have your your tickets so in your ticket you have all of these tickets and then you can also click on new over here and create new ticket new emails new contacts new company so whatever kind of ticketing system you have you can just add that over here or you can even import your tickets as well if you choose to do that and you can see that within your tickets you also have filters and you can browse tickets according to those filters like you can add a specific agent maybe you'll, you want to track the progress of one agent you can only view the work of them you can also add certain groups so maybe you only want to see the issues that are regarding billing or issues that are regarding a false product or you messed a product then you can select the kind of group that you want you can also filter them by the due dates by the resolution due and the next response to you now below that you have your contact section so you have contacts and companies over here you will actually be adding the people that you are going to be contacting or the people that are contacting you so all of your clients and customers would be present over here and whenever you are adding creating new contacts so you can click on new contact over here you can upload a photo you can also add the title so you can see ceo of food supplier so you can add whatever kind of information about the contact you can add their email let's say whatever is their gmail address you're going to add that you can add their phone number twitter a external id you can add the company name so food supplier and you can also obviously if you create companies you can click on associate a company and then add their company name over here if you already have your company linked let's say you're working with in collaboration with a company obviously we'll have them added so you can just link them over here then you have your time zone language tags and about so you can add any information about a contact and click on create over here and now you can can see i have this new simple little contact created and i can take a look at all of the timeline of my communication with them the ticketing that i have with them the notes that i have about them the forms and the archive tickets within this specific contact and this will allow you to really manage customers accurately you can click on convert to agent if you want and you can specify which contacts which agents would be dealing with which enables you to have a very nice customer service experience for your customers now below that 
you have your social section. So if you click on social over here, you can click on get started and manage your social media customer support channels as well. So you can just click on add Twitter account and manage that from here. Although Freshdesk isn't the best application for this, I'm not going to recommend Freshdesk for social media communication management, but you still can use it and it is going to reduce the amount of time you spend using, you know, any other application if you were to set an entire other application for social media CRM. Now below that you have your solutions. So over here you can click on new article and add all of your samples, all of the information and data that you need to provide to your agents or to the people that are working for you or just for yourself even. All of the basic standard procedures, standard responses, standard operating methods, all of that information needs to be posted over here. So you can just post that all over here. And then below that you have your forum section so you can create different forums and you can click on add topic and add certain responses to very popular questions let's say people are always asking a certain question like hey how do i fit this lego part with the other lego part people always get stuck on that and then you can create a forum and upload it so it's a lot easier for people to find answers to simple questions that would be a frequently asked question now below that you have your report section and if you click on reports over here you can take a look at the overall analysis so you can manage agent productivity you have your customer happiness you also have your basic in-depth help desk analysis as well and this is something which i find to be super helpful the agent time performance so you can easily manage a agent and see if your team is working as efficiently as possible and then you can also take a look at their timesheet summaries and the overall performance of the team to better reward high working or high achieving employees and below the reports you also have your analytics section so your analytics section and report sections are two different different things in your reports you actually get like proper you know in-depth reports and the analysis section is going to be a bit more general about the overall fresh test about your overall ticketing system and how it's working and then below that you have your settings so you have team channels workflows agent productivity and just general settings of your fresh desk crm and then you also have your basic account all of the account information then on your top right you have your account you have your logout section you have your neo marketplace where you can integrate different applications onto freshdesk to further optimize your uh, platform and you can even integrate this with other crm softwares like jira is another crm and then you can also integrate this with your e-commerce platforms calendars or any other team management tool then you also have a basic out of scheduling out of office section as well you have your notifications and you also have a basic update section that enables you to see any fresh desk update so fresh desk is amazing but it does come at a price so on the free version you can add up to 10 agents and you have a lot of these amazing features but for more than 10 agents you will have to upgrade with the starter version starting at 15 dollars per month the starter version also has things like custom ticket views custom ticket fields and uh, general custom fields time tracking and timesheet reports then you have the pro version starting at 49 per agent per month and they also have custom applications and average time handling and then the enterprise version starting at 79 dollars per agent per month where you have a automation platform as well you can also include over 5,000 bot sessions per month emailing bots agent shift you have audit logs sandbox and scale based routing as well so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video